Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the geolocation API in JavaScript. Okay, so essentially this is going to allow your users to provide their geographical location to your web application. Okay, so this includes things like latitude, longitude, altitude, speed and a couple more sensors. Okay, so it's very simple and easy to use but just keep in mind that it's only going to work over secure contexts. So basically, your website or application needs to be running over HTTPS. So as we can see here locally, um, I'm running over HTTPS. I've got a self-signed certificate. Um, if you don't have this, it is very straightforward and easy to uh, you know create your own self-signed certificate. So I suggest you Google how to do that first um, if you haven't already done so. But let's continue now with the video by taking a look at the geolocation API, of course, in the JavaScript just down here. So, the way to retrieve your user's location or request for your user's location is going to be done just like this. So, you type out navigator.geolocation and then you have here access to three methods. We're going to first take a look at the get current position method, which is uh, definitely uh, the most straightforward out of the three. So, as we can see here, when you call the get current position method, you have the option to provide up to three arguments. So, the first one here is going to be the success callback. So, essentially, uh, when you call the get current position method, the browser is first going to ask the user user if they want to actually send their location. If they say yes, the device um, is going to obviously uh, use GPS or whatever it needs to to send back a location and once that gets done, um, we're going to essentially run the function inside here. So, for now, let's just type out success callback and we can define this function right here very shortly. We can do the exact same thing for the second argument here and we can call this one error callback. So basically if something went wrong when retrieving the location or the user denied, um, then essentially this function right here is going to fire off. Okay. So now we're going to leave out the third, uh, the, uh, third argument and come back to that later. But for now, let's just go ahead now and actually define those two callbacks. So we can say const success callback is equal to a new arrow function. So essentially this function right here is going to be provided with a single argument and that is going to be a position object. Okay, so we can just type out position just like this. Okay. And then, just for now, we can say console.log and pass through here, of course, our position. Okay, and we can do the exact same thing for the error callback. Um, just like this, and uh, this right here is going to be our error object containing details about what went wrong. So we can just simply console.error the error. Okay, I can now save this and refresh the browser. And as we can see right here, first off, the browser says, hey, um, do you want to, um, you know, send your location to this uh, website? So if the user presses allow, just like that, we can see right there, the success callback has been called and we get access to the position. So as we can see here, the position object is actually of type geolocation position. Um, and the main uh, property here is going to be coords, of course, short for coords coordinates. If you expand this, we've got this whole object here of more information about, of course, the positions, uh, position, sorry, uh, the user's position. So as we can see here, we've got latitude, longitude, altitude, accuracy. Now from, uh, from what I can see, and in my experience with the uh, geolocation API, uh, most of the time the latitude and longitude are going to be provided as well as the accuracy. Um, however, uh, sometimes you may not get the heading, the speed and the other stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, that's a successful geolocation position retrieval. Let's go ahead now and actually uh, just reset our uh, location um, setting here. By now, let's just say ask, put it back to the default and then refresh the page. 
And now let's block the uh, request. So now we get here our geolocation position error and we can see right here we get our code with a message of user denied geolocation. So with this object right here, I might just drag over on my second screen here um, the error object in the documentation. As we can see here, we have three different kinds of errors. We get a permission denied, a position unavailable, and a timeout. So maybe um, you want to be checking uh, the code property and doing different things based on, uh, of course, which code it is um, and what the reason was. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And that is basically how you get the user's geolocation or geographical position. Um, so next, we're going to be taking a look at the watch position method. So basically, I might just get rid of this right here and instead type out navigator.geolocation.watchposition. So here, with this one, it's going to take in the exact same uh, arguments here. So I can say success callback and then error callback. Okay. However, this one right here is going to return you an ID. So I can say, for example, const watch ID. So the watch position method essentially allows, um, allows you to continue getting updates as the user walks around um, or their position changes. So obviously that can come in handy. Um, so I might just sort of save this and then refresh the page here and we can see it in action. So um, upon the first refresh, I might actually just go back here and just say um, allow for the permission there and try again. As we can see here, uh, in the console, we get our first position. If I was to go into my sensors area here in uh, Chrome DevTools and then change my fake location to be something like Berlin, check the console, we should see now we get a few more positions. So we can see right here in the first one, we get 51.50, etc. In the second one here, um, we get 51, so the same thing. Um, in the third one, we should get a different result. We can see here now we get 52 and then 13. So I'm not too sure why Chrome uh, sends through uh, the same location twice there. Um, but in my testing on my mobile phone, it seems that it doesn't actually send the double. So essentially, as we can see right there, as the user's location updates, you're going to continue um, having this success callback function ran. And of course, you can then uh, do something with the results. Now, this watch ID is basically just an ID for you to manage uh, because every time you call watch, you're going to get this ID. So for example, if you want to uh, cancel, um, um, watching the location, then you can simply say navigator.geolocation and then you can say dot clear watch and pass in there your watch ID. And if I was to do this now, um, we should now see that uh, the watching should not work. So obviously we get nothing immediately. And if I was to just test this real quickly, go inside here, go to census and change this to be uh, London. Um, we can see, of course, no result in the console because of course we've cleared uh, the, um, the actual watching. Okay, so the very last thing now um, is to cover um, the third argument here to the watch position um, uh, method and that one's going to be a position option. So you can actually pass through a few options uh, to your request um, to basically control a few things. Uh, I'm going to be covering the accuracy of the position and also a time out. So uh, let's just get rid of this. Um, let's go back to actually the first method here. So that's going to be uh, get current position and inside here we're going to pass through our positions, uh, sorry, our position uh, options object. Okay, so here we can say for example enable high accuracy. That is one of the options and I can say true. Um, I believe by default this is set to false. So I might just bring up the documentation once again um, if I can find it uh, just here. Yeah, so the default uh, value for the enable high accuracy property is going to be false. And essentially, if you make it true, uh, you're basically saying to the device, try your best to provide me with a high uh, accuracy location. It also says here that uh, there's potential. It's going to cause more power consumption. So, of course, um, use it appropriately. OK, so for example, let's pass through here, um, enable high accuracy and set that to be true. We also have here a timeout and essentially this one 
is saying uh, how many I believe milliseconds. Um, so how many uh, how many milliseconds until the device um, essentially times out when retrieving the location? So of course, if it takes more than let's just say five thousand milliseconds or five seconds to uh, retrieve the location, you can make a timeout by providing five thousand just in there. So um, that is the uh, geolocation API in JavaScript. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.